Good D, good D. There's that rip specialist from Rashawn Gary. Close, close, finish it. Oh, Preston Smith, come on. Oh, you had him, dude. Dude, Gardner Minshew and the Saints would be so sweet. I, I'm so mad that they didn't do that. Is Steelers finishing last in their division a hot take? Uh, I, I actually don't think so, no. That's probably a lot of people thinking that right now. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. I didn't even press anything, and Gary still won with the speed off the edge. I'm actually going to spy Gary on this one. Oh, hello. You can't block Kenny Clark with David Montgomery. It's not going to go well. There you go, Kenny. I would love to get three double-digit sacks with Smith, Gary, and Clark. Defense scores. Gary's lighting it up now. Oh, let's go, Patrick Sertan. Thank you, Justin Fields. We'll take that third pick of the year for Sertan. Let's a go. Another one for Gary. He should get, uh, sorry, for Clark. He should get the full sack on that one. This was a great matchup for us because the Bears' offensive line is not good. And we are eating right now. Second and 19. Tackle. Tyler or Stafford? Uh, Stafford now, but if I'm building a new team, give me Kyler. I'm waiting on those Matthew Stafford uh, MVP bets to clear next year. Do I think Jalen Hurts has top 15 QB potential? Potential is such a funny thing because, like, there's nothing about his physical traits that says he can't be a top five quarterback. He's got plenty of athleticism and arm talent. But to me, just like the amount of crazy development relative to the way that quarterbacks have grown in the past. Like even if he takes a Josh Allen leap from his development on the mental side of the game, he still might not be a top 15 quarterback. Like... I say no. Physically speaking, there's 50 quarterbacks in the NFL that could be top 15 quarterbacks. But at some point, you can't only look at physical tools. Um, 
to determine potential. Now, it's obviously a big part of it, but... And there's obviously a gray area. Like, technically speaking, you could randomly get that Dak Prescott, Gardner Minshew, who just are really surprising with their mental side, but... How many people in the world are like Josh Allen? Like five? Can I say zero? I, I genuinely believe Josh Allen is the most physically talented quarterback that's ever played in the NFL. More than Aaron Rodgers. Oh, okay, Cobb. More than Aaron Rodgers, more than Cam Newton, more than Patrick Mahomes. His combination of running ability and just, he, he has the strongest arm ever, period. There's no, I mean, maybe Marino, people say, was, was insane with his arm talent. So maybe I can't speak on that, but. Oh, yikes. Tackle, guys, come on. Yeah, Elway, another one. People always bring up the arm talent. So I, I can't really speak on those guys. I just have to take people's words for it. Mike Vick, yeah, Mike Vick had a hose, but not 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 a Josh Allen hose. But he did. He could absolutely rip it. Good savage hit sticking a tight end. Name every white cornerback in the NFL. I just did. Dude, Sav, what was that physics right there? <laughs> Damian Williams just became a rag doll. There you go, Kenny Clark. Have a day, dude. Alright, Brady. You're going to get some help here. K1 Short. Joining the fun. Man, K1 Short's making a case for a contract extension. He's been a nice addition. I wouldn't mind bringing him back for cheap if he wants to come back. Giving up our first points. Thoughts on my favorite condiment? Um, you know. TFGF, you have brought me on to... Whoops, did I do play key moments? I think I did. You have really brought me on to mustard. I, I actually might... Jeez, they snapped that quickly. Jair, let's go! Oh, we're down at the one. I bet we get safety. I've always liked honey mustard, but I was always sleeping on real mustard. Ranch is, I mean, ranch is undefeated, too. Does ranch even count? Ranch is more like a dip, isn't it? Or like a dip or a sauce. Does that actually count? That feels like cheating. I was thinking like ketchup, mayo, mustard. Maybe barbecue sauce, but even then... Yeah, ranch is a dressing. I, I wouldn't count ranch. That's a cheat code. Oh, 
Oh, Gary. This game might be enough to take uh, Justin Fields out of the Rookie of the Year. There you go, Gary. How many sacks do we have today? Like nine? We were just teeing off. Killing us with these legs. Chick-fil-A sauce is delicious. You know what else is good that I saw at Aldi the other day? They sell uh, Wahlburgers burger sauce at Aldi. And Teddy is just chilling. Maybe mom will come get you and relieve you of your streaming duties there, Teddy. Yeah, Wahlburger is delicious. Chat, who's had Wahlburger? Underrated. Oh, gosh. Field stiff-arming Rashawn Gary. Man, what a power move. It is not just in Minnesota. It started in Boston. I think the first one is just outside of Fenway. I could be wrong about that. Ooh, Geometric Heat. The first canes in your state just opened. That's huge. I can't believe I'm about to say that, but that's, uh, what do they say, poggers? Am I, am I hip now, guys? Did I do the... Did I do the cool? Am I cool now, officially? Jeez, Cole Komet. Ooh, good play, Barnes. Saquon or Cook in fantasy, you got to go Dalvin, right? He's just on the better team. Good offensive line now. Dalvin has like a chance to be the number one back. Not that Saquon doesn't, but I'd, I'd go. Oh, no way they gave that to him. That sucks. Man, I've been on defense all game. Geometric Heat, I've driven an hour for Canes before, and it was still worth it. Chris Barnes needs to be replaced. He's been all right. But that is that is one of our focuses in the draft. I don't know if he needs to be replaced. Okay, one short. That was a good play. We'll see how much Canes, like, regresses, and then we'll make a decision. Um... Short regresses. Keynes is not regressing. If that's what I said. Barnes heard you, chat. Have I ever had Portillo's? Uh, we had Portillo's that one time, didn't we? With the cheesy fries? I've been wanting to go back there. It's just kind of further away, but that was delicious when we had it.
Yes! Is that short again? Man. Eight sack game. Your money's on Smashburger for number one fast food place? Nah, Smashburger's fine. Oh my gosh, Cobb. Looking spry. Dude, Smashburger's just like very solid, but very rarely would be my number one choice. I do love the, like their shakes do give them a nod. I will give you that. Like they got Hagen dazs freaking shakes, which are delicious. So I'll give you that. And their burgers are good too. But my only thing with Smash Burger is it's really expensive. Relative to like a Five Guys or a Wahlburgers. Another sack. Preston Smith says, let me get in on the fun. McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. But yes, local burger joints are... That's the other thing is like... Smash Burger is expensive enough that if I want Smash Burger, I'm, I'm gonna go to a local, a local burger joint and pay up for that. Whereas like Five Guys, Wall Burgers, Culver's for example, Culver's burgers are just straight up like better than Smash Burger. But um, if I'm going cheap, I've got my options, and if I want to pay up. Smash Burger is just kind of in this weird in between land. Why haven't I cut Preston Smith yet? Because the Packers aren't going to cut him in real life. I was just sticking to the realism there. After the contract they gave him. Oh, I whiffed. Damn. I mean, they, uh, they renegotiated his contract, so they're not going to release him. So I'll, I probably will after this season, though. Whoa, you can't eat Culver's burgers? Are they like too buttery for you? I've never heard someone say that. Culver's is elite. What's up, Crystal Sword? Gary, again. That's 10 sacks on the game, isn't it? Not for Gary, but for the defense. Little Caesars is underrated? I've never had Little Caesars, not gonna lie. Get it! Yeah! Show off the speed, Savage. Ah, he got caught. That was all Rashawn Gary right there, baby. Superstar. Again with Gary. Little Caesars is $5 and it's the GOAT. Maybe I'll have to try it sometime. Man, we are punking Justin Fields right now. He's not getting any help from his old line, that's for sure. Ooh, Brady Breeze forcing fumbles. Let's go. Stepping up in the event of injury. 
and the offense wraps it up. What a game for the defense. I'm glad we played defense. That was fun. We just lit those guys up. What a story this defense has been. And we have three first round picks. That's what's crazy. Jordan Love went off. Dang, Jordan Love. That's his best game of the year. Just an all around slaughter. Amari Rodgers has his best game. Look at the sacks. K1 Short fighting for a contract extension. All three young defensive backs get a pick. Just all around dominant performance. Love to see it. So we have two more short games left of full on play the moments. Which NFL coach would I trust the least to pick good restaurants? Zach Taylor was the first name that came to my mind. Andy Reid would be my first choice, though, for the best picks. A speed boost and two finesse for Gary. Darnell Savage goes up to an 80 overall. Have you guys seen Andy Reid on the Food Network on uh, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives? It's a good time. Let Emos go since Breeze is playing well. Oh my gosh, Zadarius Smith for X Factor. Honestly, another double digit sack season. That's really not unrealistic. He's been incredible here in Green Bay, so I think that's honestly well deserved. And we are going to fight for that. Look at that. Look at that. Love and Rodgers in perfect harmony. I want that Super Bowl matchup. I want it bad. That'd be such a fun freaking storyline. But we are going to play this one with Zadarius Smith. Just a very defensive focused first season here, which is nice it's a nice change of pace i'm enjoying it i hope you guys are as well so we're going for a zadarius smith breakout here we're gonna have to face lane johnson so we have to earn it Keep an eye on those scrambles from Jalen Hurts. Oh, Kenny Clark, hello. I mean, if we put up a defensive performance like we did last week. We're not going to need three sacks or whatever Zadarius needs. Good D, good D. Hakeem Butler was in there at tight end for them. Ooh, false start. Back him up. Jeez, we need four sacks with Zedarius? That's so many. Tackle, tackle. Oh, did he get it? Jesus, guys, come on. What are we doing? This is not an easy offensive line to get this breakout against, so it's it will be well-deserved if we can get it. Papa John's or Domino's? Honestly, it depends on the month. 
I love Domino's crust, but I feel like Papa John's has better ingredients. Really just depends how I'm feeling. Good pressure. Brady Breeze gets in there for the tackle. I really didn't know. Oh, Zadarius gets a half sack. I didn't even have time to get over there for Zadarius. They changed changed it up so quick, but good D. Good D. I can't believe how chill Teddy's been this stream. What is the best pizza in my opinion? There's a place in northern Minnesota. Oh god, interception right away. There's a place in northern Minnesota called Rafferty's. There's just an elite veggie pizza, which sounds... Oh, no. Sounds lame, but it has a white, like, Alfredo sauce, and it, they just load it with the best veggies. They have other good pizza, too. But that, to me, is my favorite pizza. But if you're talking about, like, um, style of pizza... I personally would lean towards, um, let's, let me get this play done and then I'll get back to the pizza. Rashawn freaking Gary. Let's go off, dude. He's going to have a 20 sack season. This thing is all done. Um, stylistically, I mean, I love Neapolitan Italian pizza. But, uh, geez, back on defense again. Like, brick oven Neapolitan pizza is amazing. But uh, kind of similar to that New York style. Can you turn off the mic for just a second? Yes. One, one second chat. We're discussing something. Sorry, we had to discuss. I'm not in trouble, Rufus, but I appreciate you looking out. I'm not in trouble as far as I'm aware of. I think the dirty dishes are still sitting in the sink, so... No promises. Yeah, I love how you guys think I was fi we were fighting. We weren't fighting. <laughs> we don't really fight. I think we maybe had one... One disagreement. We're a pretty, pretty balanced couple, I would say. Get him. Let's go. I'm actually not using Zedarius religiously like I should be. We have literally been on defense this entire first half. Get in there, Z. Yeah! No! Don't take my half sack, Gary! Get out of here! At least it's based on yards, so if they keep giving us... Jesus, another turnover? Three turnovers. For the offense this week. Hey, babe, you want to get Teddy? I feel like Teddy's ready to go eat dinner or get ready to contain.
Teddy says, yes, please, Mom. Come, come retrieve. Yes! Gosh, Gary. I can't, I mean, it makes sense. We have now three superstars on our D-line. We're getting up there to be like, I mean, this is like Niners, Jags, Super Bowl, elite pass rush status. There you go, offense. Just a field goal, but it's better than nothing. What would the score be if I played TFGF and Madden? I actually did that. I don't know if you knew that. We actually made a video playing each other. I made like a 25 overall roster for myself, and I think TFGF ended up winning? Who did who did win that game? Dude, Hertz is scrambling for his life out here. Let's just frickin' spy with Savage and go man coverage every play and just force someone. Get him. Let's force one of these receivers to shake. So if we go, let's put Jair on. Oh, hang on. They're coming out. Three tight ends. How many dynasty leagues am I in and how are they looking? I am in three dynasty leagues and... I'm like middling in all of them, <laughs> which is surprising. I've had some rough luck. One of my leagues, my quarterbacks were Andrew Luck and Carson Wentz. So I've had some, and it's I only play in two quarterback leagues, of course. Uh, so I've had some adjustments to do in that. I also had Andrew, I'm in a PFF league. Um, Andrew Luck was my quarterback and my number one overall pick in that league as well. So I got really screwed by the Andrew Luck stuff. And then in another league I joined last year and I drafted like a really young team. But yeah, Andrew Luck has set my dynasty teams back a couple years, I feel like. Here he goes, Darius. Man. We're balling out on defense, dude. Absolutely balling out. Call timeout for the offense. <laughs> there it is. Lisa B just dropped the uh, TFG versus TFGF Madden game. Good times. I'm going to use her Savage for the spy here. Dude, what the heck? Why was Hurt so much faster than Savage there? What the heck was that? They snapped it before I could just change him into a spy and get off of him. Minka or Eddie Jackson? Minka. That one's pretty easy. I do love Eddie though. Green. Jalen Hurts says 52 passing yards. I think half of them are on screens. Dude, Jair. You got absolutely... Roasted on that. 
Harrison Smith or Kevin Byard? Harrison Smith until he shows that he regresses. I mean, Harrison made a case to still be probably the second best safety in the NFL last year. It's just he's 32 years old, so when is he going to regress? That's the question. Do I have an under most underrated backup quarterback? Nathan Peterman, man. Underrated because everyone thinks he's the worst player in the NFL, and he I think he's a quality backup. He just needs an opportunity to prove it. There you go, Kwan Short. Man, Short's up to like six sacks this year. I'm telling you guys, Nathan Peterman's going to go off in the preseason this year. And he's going to make the Raiders again. Which, honestly, is enough to make him... Oh, Hurts slid there. He had a chance. Thoughts on Tyrod Taylor? A better answer is just to defer you to my deep dive. If you head over to my YouTube and check out the Texans deep dive, you can get a four or five minute breakdown on Tyrod Taylor. That would do much more justice than anything I could say here. We need to do a quiplash stream soon? I agree. Definitely do for a little quiplash. Next week, maybe. Uh, hold on. I meant to do play all defense. All right, offense did something finally. How did the Patriots get Barmore? That's an excellent question. Probably because the Jags took Travis Etienne in the first round. That that helps. Good job, Gary. Man, Gary has been. I hope he gets up there in the defensive play of the year race as this goes on, because he's been incredible. Went out of bounds. Yes, Kenny Clark, let's go. Defense, baby. We might get this based on the yardage. This has been another dominant performance by our defense. The only reason we've given up points is because of the offense with their three turnovers. They had three field goals off of bad field position. <laughs> Other than that, we've shut them out. Sam Howell or Spencer Rattler? I'm not ready to answer that question. I, I just haven't watched enough of them. I'd say Rattler's in the lead right now, but I'm not I'm not making any judgments on them. I, I learned last year saying anything about Justin Fields before I thoroughly watched him bit me in the ass. So I'm just not going to comment on quarterbacks until the season starts. Brady Breeze. Chat, what are your predictions for the best game of the upcoming NFL season? Contact. Penalty gets me all the time. Packers Chiefs, if Rodgers stays with the Packers, that could be insane. Oh, Gary, easy. Oh, man. Dude, Hurts had a wide open tight end. Should have thrown it. Bucks Rams might be really good. Yeah, that'll be a good matchup. I like that answer. 
Chiefs versus Bills rematch, but the Bills got slaughtered both times last year. Are we sure it's going to be any different? Preston Smith. Man, Jalen Hurts needs to start throwing the football. Making this too easy on us. Nine sacks. We have 20 sacks in the last two weeks. Even Preston Smith has five sacks now. In Josh Allen, I trust. Hey, fair, honestly. I was so impressed by Josh Allen in that film room I did on Patreon. Gosh, we're back in on defense. Bailing out Jordan Love today, that's for sure. I think we are on pace to get this breakout, though. The Green Bay Sackers. <laughs> it's sad they haven't been good enough. It's a shame they haven't been good enough to get a good nickname like that, but that's hilarious. Browns Chiefs. I love that prediction. I was thinking like a Browns Ravens rematch might be my answer. That game last year was maybe the most memorable game of the year. Oh, if Zadarius finished that tackle, that was a TFL. Let's go. Oh, Zadarius, get in there. Oh, that's picked. No, Devontae. That should be the shirt for our game. The hashtag Sackers. I mean... I agree. Hopefully that's not jinxing Joe Burrow into getting sacked 10 times in that game, though. Which could easily happen. K1 short, dude. Have a freaking revival. Oh, you're talking about the Packers Bears game. I thought you meant for the um, the Bengals game. I got confused. Ooh, let's go, Patrick Sertan. Is Cliff a bottom five to ten coach? Uh, bottom ten, yeah. I don't know if we can say bottom five. There you go, Jair. There you go. Dude, we have allowed, I think, under 200 yards in this game. Let's wrap it up. If we get this breakout, it's going to be because of the total yardage, not the sack numbers. Just don't give up the garbage. Don't let the garbage time ruin that. Come on. Uh, half of Hertz's freaking passing yard is just chucking it up to Devontae Smith. <sighs> if we don't get this because of an 80 yard garbage time drive, that's going to suck.
Alright, finish him off. Kind of a spy zone look from Barnes here. Thank God they didn't count that. That would have been sad. A screen on fourth and goal. Another dominant defensive performance. I, I don't think we're going to get the breakout, though, because of the garbage time drive. It's probably like under 250 yards. Let's see. Yeah, we can auto those two. Yeah. That's all right. Not like we need it. Our pass rush is good enough. So we have four options here to do our final game of uh, Play the Moments here. Um, Detroit's 7-5. and five. I think we should... Should we play the Bears again? I kind of want to take down the Bears. How about we scout some tight ends? Does Dwayne Askins have a chance to make the Steelers roster? Yeah, definitely. Whether it's QB2 or QB3, either way. All right, we're going to sim the next three weeks. I want to confirm that there's no... Well, Kwan short. We could just do it and hope he doesn't regress too bad. I think we should wait, though. He only wants a one-year deal. He's definitely earned it. Tanyan's the other guy, but he's pretty expensive, and he hasn't really done much for us. He's definitely regressed back to his expectations, I would say. I just want to kind of glance at our stats. Gee, Short has eight sacks. That's incredible. All right, we're going to sim this. Keep it rolling, Green Bay. We won. The defense continues to kick ass. Doctors have cleared Amos, but we're going to keep playing Breeze. Jordan Love. I don't think he's in line for like a superstar type of deal here. Maybe next year. Such a defensive focused season. John Runyon actually like already pretty good there. I'm just going to auto Kiki. He doesn't play much. So we're going to sim this week. I think it's time I'm going to put scouting on auto. We've done a good job scouting to this point. Um, we can also spend some coach XP. So let's go with uh, O-line and D DB. Keep it going. 
Man, another 16 weaker. Or a 16 pointer. We keep winning. Amos is officially back. I can't believe how freaking dominant this defense is. Aaron Rodgers is in Denver, like, kicking ass. He's, like, happy to be free, but also at the same time, he's like, what the hell? <laughs> so we got the Titans, and then we're playing next week. If we don't win this one, it's not even, like, it's not even going to be that big a deal. We have a chance to knock the Bears out of the playoffs next week, which would be sweet. Do you have to go potty? Yeah, I think we're going to let you out. You've been up there for a while. Go on, buddy. Go on. Okay. Okay. Aaron Jones eclipsed a thousand. Maybe Judy can get up to a thousand. But these sack daddies. If K1 Short gets 10 sacks, we have to bring him back. Because that D line is just too good. I can always reverse his regression if it's too ridiculous. At least put him back to what he was. But let's simulate one more week, and then we're doing play the moments against the Bears. Oh, defense finally breaks down. Let's see what happened. Although not a terrible loss, 31 to 28. Zadarius got another sack. He's probably going to go up to up to X Factor anyway. Um, I'm actually I'm going to play our starters. We're going to make this an old school. Oh, he's just saying for Aaron Jones. We can we can give Aaron Jones the day off. I think that's fair. Let A.J. Dillon take the brunt of the work. And we just got to remember to fix this after the game so we don't go into the playoff game for our next stream without Aaron Jones in there. A pile of upgrades. Start Bortles in this game? Nah, love love needs the experience. Best Nickelodeon cartoon? Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom. Elite. Oh my gosh, Jair. Cheat code. Going for it on fourth down. Oh, let's go. Pressure gets in there. Pass rush picking up right where it left off against the Bears. Big first quarter drive. They're actually letting me play. We have not been on offense for like the second half of the season. Oh, I was trying to get out of there. Bilal Nichols.
Not a great start. Oh, man. Good coverage. Thomas Graham Jr. Pick six. Ah, oh, there was a hole in the zone there. I wanted to squeeze it in there, but Graham knew exactly where that hole was, and he dunked on it. Good answer, though, by the simulation Packers. Ooh. Oh, what a play. Are you serious? Let's go. That was such a nice play. Man, Khalil Mack is feasting right now. Yeah, chat. Oh my god. Khalil Mack. We gotta start doubling him. Jesus. <laughs> I had no time there. Alright, guys. Come on. And then let's... Uh, TFGF gets really mad when she quotes Spongebob, and I don't know what she's quoting. Going for it. Dude, MVS on these reactionary routes has been clutch. Good luck with that. Stopping A.J. Dillon with one yard to go. Ooh, we get the ball back. Go, love. Go! Oh, my goodness. That was a touchdown, but we got stuck. And Khalil Mack again. Jesus. I wish there was a way to like automatically double team a guy. With the wide nine here though, I don't think I can. Oh, what was that? Are they going to score a defensive touchdown on this? Go Elton Jenkins. Thank goodness. I've got Khalil Mack stuck in my mind now. I'm scared. Again, chat, remind me to put Aaron Jones back in the depth chart before we get to the playoffs, um, preferably at the end of, because this is going to be our last last game of tonight's stream, and then we'll do playoffs off season, to kick off next season for our next stream. Oh, almost got there in time. I really want to win this and maybe knock the Bears out of the playoffs. Home field advantage is going to be awesome in Madden 22. Yeah, the momentum features are sweet. It's hard to say right now if it's balanced enough right now, but I like that it's there. And it adds it adds something new. And the weekly preparation is sweet too. It really makes you feel like you need to consider who your opponent is this week.
No touchdown. What do they do? They're going for it. Good read. Dang. Was the training focus stuff overpowering? It I can't decide. I mean it's it's significant, but at the same time, if they make it it's tough, because if they make the weekly focus too much smaller, it'll just it won't matter. It won't be enough to make a difference. So I get why they're like you're really going to have a boost to the one thing that you try to practice that week. Which I think is... You know, maybe instead of doing all fours for everything, do like... Fours and... Like fours for the more OP traits and fives for the less OP traits, but... I think they can do some tuning to it for sure, but I'm fine with it being pretty strong and out there, out there, because I think the strategy aspect of it is, is cool and different. Oh, man. Alright, we gotta lead a comeback here, come on. Bears want it more than us right now. Not the strongest performance from Love going into the playoffs. Let's see if we can rally. There we go. That's a great play. Okay. We're alive. Third and three and driving. Third and six, come on, let's double Khalil. Randall Cobb might be clutch here. Oh, he missed him. They're saying go for it. Fourth and six. I I think I'm gonna kick it. Maybe that's cowardly, but hopefully I can at least make this kick. We do have like the number one defense in the NFL, so I hope we can get a stop. Okay, third down and two. Hopefully they let us play. Oh, come on. What, do we fumble the punt? Or did Jordan Love fumble? Or did Jordan Love turn it over? Jesus. Come on. Hello. Yeah, thanks EA's in the thanks, chat for EA. that one. Gotta hold him to a field goal, and then hopefully they let us play. Which is no guarantee. There you go, Gary. Showing off that 4-5 speed. Going right back to that play call, but we're going to go... We're going to spy Gary.
so nice to have that speed off the D-line. All right, let me play this moment. Come on. Second and 15. They finally let me hop in here. God, this pass rush. Gotta go screen just to make this manageable and to keep this pass rush honest. We do get to play the rest of this game. There we go. That was a huge play. Definitely no rush, though. I do kind of trust our defense. Jerry Judy. And now it's defense time. Cam Newton or Drew Locke? God, those guys are so different. I mean, I feel like where both those guys currently are, I'd rather have their selective quarterback. Because, like, Cam Newton's not doing anything for the Broncos, but I kind of feel like on the on the Patriots, he has some added... What the heck? Thank God he didn't complete that. He has added value on the Patriots because they have like crafted the perfect situation there with the O-line and the tight ends and the defense. <laughs> Lisa B, you are asking for trouble. Really, they're running it. Get him. Dang. Good job, Preston. Whew. Okay, we're getting the ball. Great defense, way to step up. And get out of the play the moments energy engine. Well, go big or go home, right? We get MVS one on one on the outside. Not worth it. Not worth a defensive turnover. Okay. Give me that ball. Yeah, let's go.
Let's knock the Bears out. Although they'll still probably make it at nine and seven. Okay, AJ Dillon. Okay. Take advantage of a tired defense. Classic Bears limping into the playoffs. Yeah, basically. Did Judy... Oh, he dropped it last second. Dang it. Is Nagy in the hot seat this year? Definitely. Maybe the hottest of seats. Good run, A.J. Dillon. <laughs> TFGF is a big Matt Nagy fan aesthetics. Honestly, I would say hotter than McCarthy because Jerry Jones is a stubborn, loyal... Oh no, thank God. Elton Jenkins recovered that. What do we do? I think we gotta punt it, trust our defense. It's a different Packers team. Great pump by JK Scott. Oh, come on Kevin King. This is a learning moment for our defense, guys. Good defense. God, K1 Short is awesome. Would the Cowboys be better with Steven Jones? Hard to say. I've been a, a bit of a Jerry stan, but so he's got his flaws. He's de he definitely has his flaws. Like, he... Becomes emotionally attached, I think, is a, criti a, a, a legitimate criticism of Jerry. Tackle. There we go. Three and out. Good job, D. We're going to get good field position. Gun to my head, does Fields become a top 10 QB in Chicago? I'm going to say no. We got the ball right back where we were, guys. Good call to punt. Yeah, Jerry's got his loyalty problems with... Oh, come on, Tanya. I need you to get that block. Jerry Jones, or, um, Jason Garrett, obviously. Loyal to Mike McCarthy, Zeke Elliott. MVS, just go straight up the seam here. Good job, love. Good job. Who deserved their payout more, Zeke or Aaron Jones? Aaron Jones at least had to work for his. 
All Zeke had to do was get drafted to the best offensive line in the NFL and go to Ohio State. And Jordan Love has a 4,000-yard passing season. Not too shabby. Let's go for the dagger. Come on. Jerry Judy on the post route. Oh, no. Zeroed in on it. I don't know if he was covering someone else or what that was. Jesus. They're risking a tie here if they don't get moving. They need this more than we do. I'm calling timeout. I want this win. You don't play for ties. Plan for the tie? They seem to be. Can I like jump off sides to stop the clock here or anything? Oh, of course they actually punt it. Idiots. <laughs> they actually punted it. Could have just taken the tie, but instead they kicked it. Well, we end the season in a weird tie with the Bears after a heart-wrenching interception. <laughs> That's right, Jazzer. You play to win the game. You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. A pretty epic three-hour stream tonight, guys. I didn't even realize it's 11 o'clock but has been a super fun rebuild to this point, and we're really just getting started. Um, let's... just get to... the playoff portion of this here, and just see who we play to build up the anticipation. Although we're gonna have a bye week, so... Not really going to have any anticipation build, but we are healthy. Heading into the playoffs with a 13-win season. Let's see how, like, the Broncos did with Aaron Rodgers. I guess we can just do this. Broncos end up the sixth seed, so hoping for the Broncos to pull through. We will be playing... Well, I guess we don't know who we're playing. Let's see our stats on the season. Love finishes with exactly 4,000 passing yards. 29 touchdowns, 18 picks. Pretty good year. Like, that would probably be exceeding expectations, especially with all these wins. Although wins aren't a QB stat. Jerry Judy, just under 1,000 yards. MVS, stunning season. This 
the defense. Kwan Short does end up with 10 sacks, so I think we will be bringing him back and fixing his regression if he has any. Uh, let's see awards, I suppose, and do our upgrades. Watson wins MVP at seven and nine. So the Broncos, the, the Broncos did go twelve and four. They just happened to play in a division with the Chiefs, who also went twelve and four. So at least, at least there's that. Joe Judge wins Coach of the Year, not us. We would definitely win Coach of the Year in that situation. It would finally be time for Lafleur to get his. Fields still gets Offensive Player of the Year despite us dunking on him twice. Although we didn't really dunk on him the second time. Um, any awards for us? Judy was second somehow for best wide receiver. Darnell Mooney wins best wide receiver. Might have to give Darnell Mooney some love. Kenny Clark. Of course, Zedaria Smith and Rashawn Gary win best linebacker. Taking it from Eric Kendricks because you already know why. Thanks, EA. Thanks, EA. Let's just sneak in these upgrades. We got a nice baseline of finesse for Gary now. Can get back to the power a little bit. Is the Xbox Series S worth it? I would wait till you can get an X, personally. Maybe some trade value for Preston Smith, who had a decent season as a backup. As we head into next offseason. Ooh, a speed boost for Chan and Sullivan. A little too little too late, but... All right, awesome guys. Thank you so much for joining me for a fun stream. I will be streaming again tomorrow, uh, my Cardinals TFGO Light League. Uh, the game is gonna be at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And then depending how my deep dive recording goes tomorrow, uh, I might stream, do our next stream for this as well tomorrow. So make sure you follow at TFG Plays on Twitter so you can get all of the stream time announcements. Make sure you uh, follow TFG Plays up there on YouTube. Gonna upload this whole episode. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.